IDF exclamation point, several UE5 games are coming to PC with quote unquote only <laughs> software Luma GI rather than the hardware <laughs> implementation. Uh, why is that? Does it add extra burden to the developers to enable the hardware version? Are PC gamers being shortchanged? Again, Alex, I'm going to come to you on that. But isn't it the case recently that Robocop Rogue City was updated with hardware I ha- GI? I haven't looked it up uh, yet purposefully, but everything the I saw... are modding it. To do to have hardware GI? Are they doing that? Yeah, okay. certain, not, not, not sure it's Robocop, but I think, uh, didn't you show like I Talos showed, Principle or something? Uh, Fort Solace, I showed it in, definitely. Fort Solace, yeah. And it worked there. And the reason why it works there is if the developer exports the game, like a little bit of shame on you, Epic, for this, but <laughs> um, where they make you do a project settings change to actually export between software and hardware right really annoying um from that aspect because you're like kind of like you have to have an entirely different project uh and that's not fun just to have hardware and they for fort solace they obviously exported the hardware version of it but then just have it in this the menu is only be the software version available and they auto detect most likely to make it only software available um which not great but, but, but why are they doing it i don't know i honestly don't know why <laughs> there's, there's there's one reason is that hardware rt is going to have a separate group of shaders that comes with it uh so right. they would maybe need to do two qa passes with the archaic and bad version of the way unreal engine does its shader compilation process they would have to do a shader run, not only for different settings maybe, but then also do a hardware run. And it's like, okay, this is more QA time. We don't want to do this. This is once again, these are kind of things that's like, it would be great if they did this, but I can't expect every developer to do these things. And it should be really on Epic side that they should make this much better. The other thing is that you'll have hardware RT, depending upon how the game is set up, could have a much higher CPU burden so far has yet to be proven out by the games that have released at least, but that could be the case in which case it could become untenable for like uh, certain games, depending on how they're built. So they maybe want not want hardware RT at the moment. Mm. Yeah. And, but you know, at least with 5.4 and above, there's going to be, according to the future planning section of the uh, UE5 website where they like say like what we're planning for the next versions they're looking at really increasing uh, the support uh, fidelity and performance of hardware RT on PC and the consoles they specifically reference consoles there but it's also going to then trickle up and down to PCs and I'm really looking forward to that because honestly that should become the default path um, because you're you're getting hardware acceleration out of it. You're getting fidelity out of it. That's the whole point of it. I don't think software RT fidelity is enough for all game types. Like, yeah, it's it, it falls apart in some areas pretty hardcore. So, uh, yeah, I would love all those things. And yes, it is annoying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, I think what's uh, slightly, uh, it is annoying, but also frustrating is that there's actually more NVIDIA cards out there than AMD cards, right. simple matter of fact. And they've got higher degrees of ray tracing capabilities for the most part, um, you know, across the stack, across the generations. So quite why you wouldn't want users to have that option, certainly as a future proofing option, you know, when when there is more, more capable uh, GPU hardware coming, doesn't quite make sense to me. 